Hello world of After Effect. In this video we are going to create a realistic wood effect inside the After Effect, without importing any footage or media file. In this video we will learn, how to make this. Open After Effect and create a new composition. Name it main, resolution to 1920 by 180, frame rate of 30 frame per second and the duration of 10 seconds. Now, create a new solid and change the color to grayish orange, you can type this color code in this box. Create another new solid and change the color to a little bit darker than the previous color. Go to Effect and Preset, and search Block Dissolve, and apply it on the upper layer. I am happy with, the value of transition to 50%, width to 6, height to 180 and feet to 1.9, you are free to choose your own settings. Now duplicate the upper layer, and, rename it to burn. Go to Effect and Preset, and search Curves, and apply it on the Burn layer. Pull the curve like this to make the layer darker. Select the Pen tool, and make some random shapes, to make burn areas. These burn layers selected, hit F, and increase the value of feather of each mask as you like. Now we have, a good looking wooden texture just created inside the after effect. Hit, Ctrl, plus A, to select all the layers, and then pre-compose them, and name it wood. We want our wood to be more lighted, in the central area. To do so, duplicate the wood comp layer, then, go to Effect and Preset, and search Curves, and apply it on the top layer. Pull the curve like these to make the layer lighter. Now press and hold Mask tool and select Ellipse, then double click on this little icon to make selection like this. Click this toggle switch button, to get the blending option, and then change the blending mode to, soft light. Hit F, to feather it out, and set the value to very high amount. Hit, Ctrl, plus A, to select all the layers, and then pre-compose them, and name it, Final Wood. Now select the text tool, and type the name of your channel, or anything you like. Then pre-compose it, and name it, text or logo. Duplicate these, text or logo layer, 
and change the name of the bottom layer to Shadow. Go to Effect and Preset, and search CC Radial Fast Blur, and apply it on the shadow layer. Before changing any settings, apply a fill effect, on this layer, with a color of black. Click on the center point, and move it outside the canvas. Also increase the amount as per your wish, I am happy with 60. We also want our text to be made up of wood. To do so, duplicate the final wood layer, and place it below the text or logo layer, and then set the track mate to, Alpha. It's look too creepy and unrealistic to me. To fix this, increase the size of the layer, and also rotate a little bit. Pre-compose these two layers. Then go to Effect and Preset, and search Bevel Alpha, and apply it on the Compose layer. Just thickness which is best for your logo or text. And pick the orange color from the text. Now we will do some color adjustments. Create a new solid, name it bright, and fill with white color. Select the ellipse tool, and draw an ellipse at the upper left corner. Create another solid, name it dark, and fill with black color. Select the ellipse tool, and also draw an ellipse at the lower right corner. Hit F, to feather out, both the masks. Change the blending mode of dark to overlay, and change the blending mode of bright to classic color dodge. Change the transparency of bright layer to 50%. Create a new solid layer, and name it, Flare. Go to Effect and Preset, and search Lens Flare, and apply it on the layer. Change Blending Mode to, Add. Also change the brightness and blend with original both to 50%. And move the center point to the brightest area of your footage. Create a final adjustment layer. Go to Effect and Preset, and search Curves. And apply it on the adjustment layer. Change the settings as you like. Select our text or logo layer, and go to Effect and Preset, and search. CC Light Sweep and apply on it. Go around one second and make a keyframe on the center, and this time go around three seconds and move the center point like this. Hit 0, 
Instagram preview. You are free to replace your text, and it will be updated in all the ways to the main com. You can also use your logo, or any other image, the result will be updated automatically.